hello everyone and welcome or welcome back so today i have a sort of haul slash unboxing type of video and this is from born pretty they sent me a few items to do like an unboxing slash review type of thing so that's what i am going to do yay so <clears throat> i'm excited to do this i, I feel pretty awesome that they reached out to me and asked me to do this so mm -mm -mm. so yeah so I kind of already opened this and sort of looked because I was a little impatient so it won't be like a real unboxing it'll be more like a haul type of thing so I'm about to take everything out and show you what I got Okay, so here is everything that they sent me. It's one, two, three, four, five items. And then they did send some nail tips and brushes for like on the side. That wasn't a part of the um, things they were sending me. But yeah, this is how everything came. These two jars came in like a little Ziploc baggie individually, of course. And this one has uh, the little plastic on the... um. Thing. And then, of course, these are in boxes and this. So, I'm going to open all of this stuff and then I will be right back. Okay, so I have everything open, but I did want to leave these in the boxes. So, I'm going to just start with this. This is right there. And this is a gel color, and it's um, Jelly Nude Gel Polish, and it's BPJN20, and then this number, 554-41-8. So, and this is just what the bottle looks like. So, here's the back, and it has the ingredients and a caution label on the back and then of course this is the front again and it's a 7 mil bottle which is 0 0.24 ounces so it's not a big bottle but that's okay I'm, there's still like a lot of polish in here you'll get a lot of good uses out of it when like it said it's a jelly nude so right now I can't really tell what color it is but it looks red so, I don't know if I would even call this a nude, but more just more like a jelly polish. And from the bottle, it looks red. And then this is a rubber base gel. And on the bottom it says rubber base gel RBG08. Um, and then this is a date. So, and then this is the box. I like this box. It seems so fancy and this is a 15 mil bottle which is like a normal size gel polish bottle and then this is uh what the box looks like what are you doing and then you pull it out from can you not do that please then you pull it out and here's the polish and oh my god this bottle it's so nice it's like a matte black and it's really smooth and it feels so good like ooh, i love this bottle i do and then on the bottom it just says the same thing that was on the bottom of the box and there's no color name so i'm guessing the number is the color it is so let's open it and see and it might just be clear. I don't know if there's supposed to be like a color swatch at the top of the bottle. But there's nothing there. So maybe it's just clear. Maybe it's a color. It's just clear. Which is fine. Because I actually like rubber bases. I use them um, as base coats sometimes for gel polish and stuff. And I used to even use rubber base before I would do like acrylic. Or even when I was doing hard gel. So, let's look at that again. So, it's a thick consistency as it should be. Because the two rubber bases I've have tried, they are thick. 
and rubber bases and even top coats tend to be on the thicker side so that's what that looks like and then this is all shine on me gel polish which i'm assuming is just a top coat so this is what the box looks like i opened the top already and on the back there's even a how to apply type of thing so let's take this out and look at that and then here's what the bottle looks like it's similar to the other one, but this one is more like a champagne-y kind of top. And on the front, it says Born Pretty Gel Color. And then it says on the side, Born Pretty CG052. And then there's another number. And then the back of the bottle. And let's see what is inside. Oh, no, it's an actual color. Okay. So well, my bad, y'all. My bad. So, this is the color it is. It's really pretty. It is. Ooh, it's like a magenta, magenta fuchsia color. At least that's just how I describe it. <laughs> so, next we have this extension nail gel non-stick hand. And the color is nude pink. And this is a 15 ml jar. And then here's the bottom. So, and I believe this is one of those like um, sticky things to apply like your gel X type of nail. So instead of using the loose gel, it's like one of these because this is really like it's not moving. See, it's not moving at all. So it's hard. But it's still movable, so that's what I'm guessing this is for. So, I, of course, I will be trying this out, but as you can see, I won't be doing it on myself. So, I'm kind of excited to have this. Like, I used to do Gel X nails, but not so much anymore. But, of course, I will be trying it on, like, my practice hand or something. So, and then the last thing I have here is Metallic Drawing Gel. And the color is BPMD02 slash Cyberpunk. And this is like a silver. And oh my gosh, I took the little top off of it. And I saw it. I was like, whoa. I'm excited to have this because lately I've been wanting a metallic um, gel paint. And this is what it is. And it moves a lot. So it's a thin type of thing. And... Yeah, like, also, it has a smell to it, so when you take the top off, you're going to smell it, but it'll fade quickly, so, yeah, that is everything that they sent me, so I am going to sit and think of something to do with these nails, and I will be back soon, y'all. Okay, I forgot. I also wanted to show you these. These were like the extra things they sent me to use the products. They're brushes and they're double-sided brushes. So on one side, they're like liners and stuff. And then the other side, you could use them for like uh, painting and stuff. Like painting polish or maybe even like cleanup and stuff. And this, I don't know. And then also these are just some nail tips they sent me. Just to try the products on. So, again, I'll be back soon. Alrighty, so welcome back again. Or welcome if it's your first time. Um, So, here I am just going to be doing swatches of the gel polishes. And I am putting down a base coat layer of the rubber base gel. And I do that on both nails. And then I cure in my light for 60 seconds. Now, I don't know why I separated the two nails so far apart. And then I ended up being out of frame. But, like, the magnets on this thing aren't super strong. So, sometimes the nails fall off the stand, which gets on my nerves. So, here is the red jelly color. And sorry for being out of frame. I didn't realize and that's starting to drive me crazy. So I have to I have to get better at this. So 
that was the red polish and it's very jelly and then this is the magenta -y color and you can't see me polishing it but there's the color and I cured both colors uh, for one minute and then here they are with two coats both I did both of them in two coats and then I put on a top coat which was one of my own top coats that I had and that's what the polishes look like and now I am starting with the design so this is my practice hand and then I am putting a layer of the um, rubber base gel on all the nails and then I will cure that for a minute so kind of back to the polishes I did enjoy them they went on really nice not super streaky um, I didn't notice any smells or anything and then the magenta one gave decent coverage in one coat but it does need two so and the jelly polish that it's a jelly polish so it doesn't necessarily need two coats but I went in with two coats to get the full darkness of the red so and it was still jelly after you can still see through it after two coats so now I am using the um, nail extension gel and I kind of uh, on that part I was just took I took a big glob of it and I put it in the well of the full cover tip and then you kind of couldn't see what I was doing sorry about that but you'll be able to see it on the other nails and then I I didn't put it in the full well just a little bit and then I placed it on the nail and pushed it down and that helped spread it out now this is my first time using this stuff so as you can see it's not looking so good I created a lot of spillage on the side of the nail which is something you don't want to do but if it happens just clean it up and that's what I did um, and then once I did that I cured it for one minute in my light and then I moved on to the other nails now it says this stuff is non sticky which is true because I was able to touch it with my fingers and my fingers were not sticky or anything as you'll see on the last two nails I took a ball of it and I rolled it around in my fingers now I do not recommend constantly doing that because you can end up having reactions to nail products doing stuff like that so now once again this is my first time using stuff like this so but I feel like I got better as I kept using it so by the third and the fourth nail I feel like it looked better than the first two nails and I didn't put as much in the um I believe it was the last two nails or it was just the pinky nail because I realized I was putting too much and that's why it was spilling out so much on the sides and then underneath the nail tip as well so yeah but other than that I feel like the product was doing what it says it will do so also I something happened and I ended up having to redo this nail that's why the nail tip looks so much bigger than what it should so but i fixed it and it looks fine later on and also i did notice that using this stuff it adds extra space to the nail tip so the nail tip might end up being smaller than the nail so i feel like going up a size might help but that might just be because I was using this practice hand I don't know if it'll be the same thing when you use it on a real hand but it's just an idea or something to put out there for anybody that might try this or has used something like this now you see how it's looking on this nail which is the index finger it looks better than the other nails like see the more you do something the better you get 
so now I'm going to polish the nails and I was just pointing out that that's like a little window in the bottom to show and you could kind of see the color and I didn't realize that in the beginning of the video so I'm taking the magenta color and I am going to polish all of the nails and I do two coats and I cure between each layer of the polish for 60 seconds and then I uh once that was done I um what do you call it what, what am I trying to say? I wiped off the sticky layer on the pinky. And I only did that just to see if it would make a difference in how the um, gel paint would move on the nail versus it being on a sticky layer of gel polish. So, But we will get to the design later. So... Yes, yeah, so once again, I did enjoy this gel polish. It's such a pretty color. It really is. I'm enjoying it. Also, another thing about the uh, nail extension gel, I did not notice a smell on that because you know how sometimes gel products can have smells. And as I mentioned earlier, the, uh, the metallic gel, it did have a, a smell when I opened the jar. So... Yeah, that is just something to be aware of when using uh, these products. So, yeah. Um, and here I am using the second coat. And I know my hand, the cuticle area looks all chewed up and stuff. That's because I be rough with these things. Like, <laughs> so. But, and this is just the hand I pulled out. My other one doesn't look as bad. But this is just the one that was closest to me. And I decided to use it. And since I have nails on myself, I wasn't able to do it on myself. So now I am taking one of the brushes. This is the one that has the longer liner on it. And the, I'm using the silver um, metallic painting gel. Oh, excuse me. And I'm just going to be doing some um swirly lines on all of the nails so yes i enjoyed using this metallic gel it was really nice and it went on uh pretty well i didn't have any problems with it like it wasn't running all over the place once i put it on the nail and the consistency for it is pretty good and it does have a nice shine and i did notice that it wasn't it didn't have a tacky layer after it was cured because i did touch it on this nail after it was cured and there wasn't a tacky layer but i still put a top coat on anyway so I'm not sure if anything will happen if you don't put a top coat on it, but that's just what I did. And whenever I do use it again, I most likely will put a top coat on it whenever I do use it again. So, and also this brush was kind of nice too. Like it moved really well while making the swirly lines for this design so and i did have a problem with that i was like oh that's pretty cool so yeah i probably will be using this brush again you know i have a favorite brush that i love to use and stuff but i'll say this isn't a bad brush it worked pretty well i just do prefer brushes that have a little bit longer hairs but you know there is a use for every size brush so yeah we're just going to finish watching this i guess that's about all i could say and i would love to say thanks again to born pretty for reaching out to me and sending me some products because back in the day y'all early in my nail journey i used to buy from born pretty so i already have a couple of products for rub them like it wasn't like i don't think i've tried ever tried any of their polishes or anything but i know that i've had like a brush set that they sold um 
I bought, I think I may have bought like dotting tools or something, um, a stamping plate and just a couple other things because I used to shop on Born Pretty a lot years ago. So that was pretty cool for them to reach out to me and I was, and I appreciate that so much. It's like yay me, you guys noticed me and would you know was liking to work with me so that's pretty awesome thanks again for that i really appreciate it and yes i will be using this uh metallic gel again like in the jar it looks like a mirror finish and on the nail it kind of looks like that too but it's still i still feel like it's more metallic than uh like a mirror finish so but again, I like it. I enjoy this um, gel paint. So, of course, I will be using it again. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are. After this, I'm just going to top coat. I didn't show that. And I just used one of my top coats that I already had. And then that will be the end of the video. So, don't forget to check down below for links and product names and all of that good stuff and don't forget to follow me on my socials they are instagram is the nail glow up tiktok is the dot nail dot glow dot up and i will leave those down below in the description box as well and again links to the products and the board pretty website will be down in the description box so don't forget to check that out so thank you for watching i really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time peace out y'all